Hello, I'm Mike Town. Today we're in the Bakemark Training Center. I'd like to show you today how to make a old European style coffee cake. Um, very popular in Germany. A lot of the ethnic bakeries in the United States are making these and it's become a little more popular with mainline bakeries, but it is a little underutilized. I'd like to take this opportunity to show you how, how to make a classic beasting cake. For our basting cakes today, I'm going to use a dough, sweet dough that I made out of our Pride of Denmark Danish mix. To make a sweet dough out of the Danish mix, I usually reduce the eggs in the recipe so I get a nice warm honey color. You certainly can use all the eggs that are called for in the Danish recipe. However, I find it, it sometimes tends to get a little bit too dark. So if you follow the directions on the Pride of Denmark, go ahead and reduce the eggs by 50% and I think you'll like that sweet dough for a coffee cake. I'm going to make two shapes that are traditional. You can make this free form, but typically it's made, it's baked in a pan so you have nice sidewalls. So today I'm going to make a nine inch and an eight inch bee stain cake. And then for fun, we're going to make some smaller ones too as an individual dessert item. By the way, this is a 12 ounce piece of sweet dough for the eight inch cake today. I've got a 15 ounce piece of dough for the nine inch. So we'll make those two sizes and then I'll make a a few smaller ones out of the third piece of dough. We want to pin out the dough till it's slightly larger than the pan it's going in because it will shrink a little bit. So I've got this ready to put in the pan. You want to give this a fairly heavy coat of pan spray. You can use pan grease if you like. I'm going to put a paper in the bottom just so it releases easier. It's best if you use a pan liner that actually meets the edges, much less likely to stick. Now at this point, I'm ready to put the eight inch in. Like I said, it's a little larger. I'll flatten it out, pinch it in. I'll do the same thing now for our nine inch. Again, you want to go about nine and a half inches so that you have a nice tight fit around the circumference of the pan. Now I'm going to make some smaller units. I have a flat bottom pan, which should give us the same similar shape that we're going to have with these straight sidewalls. Put a liberal coating of pan spray. You want to pin it out to about the same thickness as these two pieces here. A Bismarck cutter works real well. Today I don't have the standard Bismarck cutter, so I'm using this, this other cutter. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin it out to fit. After placing our dough pieces in the pans, we're gonna apply our bee sting paste. It's made from our Florentina cookie mix. I double the water that's called for on the label to make it very fluid and spreadable. Also as a tip, I'd recommend that you heat this slightly in the microwave to make it a little more spreadable because we want a fairly thin coat on the top of these um, dough pieces. So I've heated it up in the microwave. Typically for this size cake, I would be using about four ounces. For the eight, about three ounces. Over the top, I usually don't go clear to the edge, but spread it out to within about a half an inch of the edge of the cake. The reason you do that is it can stick to the side of the pan and tend to burn on there. You don't have to be real uniform at this point because when this heats, it will spread over the top of the cake and fill in any gaps. The easiest way to apply the paste to these smaller ones, I usually use a tube. In this case, I'm just going to use a paper tube. I'm just going to make a little circle of topping on the top. Now our cakes are ready to proof. We want to put them in a relatively cool proof box. We want this dough to remain very solid. And we'll go ahead and give this about a three quarter proof and then bake it. After baking our bee sting cakes, we want to assemble them. These are going to be filled with a French pastry cream. I've taken our Marguerite Delice Instant and am adding about an equal weight of whip topping into our Delice Instant. I'm going to fold these together so that I have a light pastry cream. So I'm going to put that together and then we'll be ready to finish that cake. After folding our Marguerite Delice Instant, into our Bake Sense whipped topping. I'm going to apply it to this, the middle of this cake. You can uh, give it a pretty good coat. I'm going to apply a pretty liberal filling here, just smooth it out a little bit. You can use the Delice Instant certainly by itself, but I tend to like it folded in with the whipped topping to give me a little lighter filling, but it's certainly your option. At this point, I'm ready to do the final touches on this. I'm going to put the top on. You can see how the bee sting paste actually spread to the edge. Press it down a little bit to set that top. 
After placing the top on the cake, I'm going to show you a uh, quick finish. It's not necessarily traditional, but we all eat with our eyes first. So anytime you're introducing a new product, uh, it's a nice touch to do a little bit of extra embellishment. In this case, I'm going to use some of our coating sugar. Just center your stencil. I'm using a little coating sugar because on a baked product, it will last quite a bit longer than powdered sugar. I really don't recommend you use powdered sugar for any type of decorating work like this. It will not hold up over time, and this certainly will. And carefully lift off the stencil, and we have the finished bee sting cake. For more information on our products and recipes, please visit us at yourbakemark.com.